we are heading into an election campaign that will and been undertaken in an atmosphere that's different from the ones that I think I've done before. I mean, when I travel around New Zealand now, um, I come across people who are yelling threats and abuse at me in such a way that I now have to think about whether I have the DPS with me. I'm not the Prime Minister, I am today, but normally I'm just the Minister of Finance doing that. It's going to be very challenging with some of that environment of misinformation and disinformation, but I reiterate, we have to have policy debates and we will. Yes, I have. Um, reasonably recently, Fongarae was the most recent one. How do you feel about that, just from a you know safety personal? Point? Yeah, look, I mean, the great thing was that I was able to have them with me, and I felt very safe when they were with me. Um, but we can't do that for every MP, can we, of any party? Um, and I, you know, I think we are going to have to think about this election campaign in a slightly different way. How do we make sure that we can still get out there, still listen to people, still meet people, but it is in a different environment. And for me, I've been a politician, I've been an MP for 14 years, I've been around this building for two decades. It is different now. The threats are greater. They're more often, they're more intense. What was it about the Whangarei trip that made you want DPS? Oh, we, we became aware of, of some people up there who were organising to disrupt my events that I was undertaking. Um, just became aware via Facebook, actually, so they weren't exactly hiding it. Um, and in the end, it did play out, unfortunately, the way that, um, that uh, we thought it might, and they disrupted a meeting I was having with some social service providers and um, went to the airport and tried to, to blockade the entrance to the airport. And... They were screaming and yelling at me that I was a pedophile and various other revolting things. Um, those sorts of experiences are not great and DPS were there to protect me, but they can't possibly be there to protect all politicians from any political party. So we're all going to have to think about how we run a campaign in that environment. Can't let these people win, so we've got to make sure that we still campaign. We've got to think of it differently. So Sorry guys. I'm, scary um, as I say, I felt well protected by the DPS that day. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.